trying to roleplay as a raider is painful in Fallout 4. Wow. Uh, hello, everybody. It is me, Sacred G. And this comment actually inspired me to make this video. Um, you can play uh, roleplay as a raider in Fallout 4. I know that wasn't what he was saying, but it's really not that difficult. Because if you think about it, raiders, fiends, and all those things enemy types in the Fallout series in terms of, like, raiders. <clears throat> Two ways... You can play as a raider in both games, in New Vegas and Fallout 4. And I don't think it's difficult in 4, because let's say your character emerges from Vault 111, and if you go left... Actually, fuck it. I'll show you on screen what I'm talking about. Let's get into the game. Alright, so this is Jake the Ripper, my raider character, and I know I'm using Start Me Up but I'm going to show you what I mean. Or show you that how you can play as a raider base game as well. I have so many quests on. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to sit here. We're going to say you just got out of the vault minus the power armor. You got out of vault 111. You are proposed with two areas to go. Okay? One of them's I believe you could go home, which is the path Bethesda sets for you. So you can choose to go that way if you want an easier route, um, I guess, or an easier way to play the main story. I don't know. Well, actually, I do. It's just an easier route for you to go to get to your destination. Don't even know if my ENB is on. But anywho, this part's important. So when you get out of the vault, you can either go back home or, better yet, you can go this way. So I've already wiped out... Um, the area here. Okay. So we're gonna go to Abernathy Farm, which is where my character's home pretty much is. Alright, so this is Abernathy Farm. As you can see, there's their, uh, dead cat. We'll get up, get out of our armor. So we don't waste the fusion cores. Um. So I wiped out this farm. And you could kill settlers in this game. And when you do... You can access their workshop and pretty much take over their settlement. And so I had my character, Jake the Ripper here, um, talk to them a little bit. It was pretty rude and hostile. The conversation was cut short, or not hostile, but the conversation was cut short due to his disrespect of um, Blake Abernathy. Hey. Here for work? We could use some help picking melons if you've got some spare time. I'll give you caps for any you can bring me. Sure. I got time to help out. Great. Doesn't have to be now, but whenever you get the time. Excuse me. That's close enough, stranger. We're a peaceful farm. We don't want any trouble. Please. You're not worth my time. Hey, whatever you say. Let me tell you, farming ain't easy. Out in the field all day, every day. And every minute of it. Spent watching your back. <laughs> you call this a farm? It's pathetic. Yano, I think you best be moving on.
and he killed him. And what he got for raiding was their entire house. All right. So let me show you the setup here. This is pretty cool, actually. So we got a nice drug box. We got a chem station so we can make some drugs, you know, and get a nice view. Also put a chair here for when Jake, you know, wants to sit and meander on in the distance. And there are two ways you can play as a raider, okay? You don't need specific dialogue options. I would say being rude is probably the best dialogue options to choose in this game if you're going to play as a raider. Um, so what you could do is you can be a run gun, okay, and kill everybody. Or you could play it stealth. Or better yet, you can just take things. You don't even need to kill anybody. You only shoot people if you have to because... Raiding doesn't mean just being a murder, going on a murder spree and taking people's things. That is just literally part of this character. Um, and so pretty much, he got a bang for his buck because he got a fucking house and also some cattle as well. So it's I easier to, to um, someone to this. It's easier to assign some or uh, easy. <laughs> it's easier to. Uh, make jet. So, that is technically many ways you could play. I mean, you could just go in and steal things. Um, or stealth it. Or run in guns blazing and kill all the settlers you can. And, and as long as they're killable. Most of them... Most of them are, like, um... Oberlin Station somewhere over here. But yeah, like, this area is not too far from uh, Vault 111, and you can actually ask about... or Abernathy Farm. You can ask about... Um, some of the world elements, too, so... Those are just my ideas on how you can play as a raider. Um, for right now, my character's just a run and guns it, and I'm using Start Me Up. Codsworth is a bit of a delusional robot thinking he, I'm somebody that he, he's not, or that Jake's not. And we have Kate and Paladin Dance. Joined the Brotherhood of Steel, mainly due to their power, um, and also free access to power armor. So, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace the fuck out. Thanks for watching. And also, comment down below what your character stories are. I'd like to know. Alright, peace the fuck out.